Hey what's up Halo fans, welcome back to another Halo video. Now today's video I'm going to be giving you guys some of my predictions for Halo Infinite gameplay event that's going to be shown this month in July. To make myself clear, all, all these predictions I'm making is obviously not a confirmation. I would like to make myself clear on that. Of all the things I would say may not happen. This video would probably age so badly, have that in mind. So how is Halo Infinite going to start off? You see this gameplay here of Halo Combat Evolved in the second mission called Halo, where Master Chief comes out of the life pod. While in Halo Infinite, he may come out from a crashed pelican. From what we saw here in the first trailer, this is probably the pelican he will come out of. And that's where the gameplay may start, where he comes off the crashed pelican, which will be set on a Halo ring. Since, since there is no Cortana in this mission, we may have this new pilot guy talking to the Chief, uh, the one where uh, you know the one we saw from the 2019 uh, trailer, uh, you know, basically guiding him, or he's probably in you know, a crash landed with the chief. Who knows? The mission objective may be about looking for survivors, just like how it was in Halo Combat Evolved. I mean, if you look at these Marines right here, they are basically lost and they need help. And this Marine here has a smoke grenade. He uses the uh, smoke grenade to contact other survivors, and I can imagine during gameplay, you will see that smoke grenade from long range. And there might be more survivors who will use the smoke grenade also, uh, just to reach out for others. And you have to drive there to save the Marines. So we basically see the Warthog in action, and and we will you know fight the Covenant as you're reaching out for those Marines. Maybe fight the Banished Brutes, which would be totally awesome. Maybe have a bit of vehicle combat. I don't see the Flood being involved, at least not on this mission. Uh, I feel like it will be a spoiler, like a massive spoiler, so they won't show everything. Anyways, as you save all those marines, you may drive to this safe zone where you and the marines can set up a camp. In this first trailer we see, this is basically maybe our uh, camping spot where the marines can stay, right? So after finish the mission objective, we may probably get a mini cutscene, and then afterwards, 343 will show that Halo Infinite is confirmed to be open world. So after you're finished with the mission objective, you may head off and explore all the locations. Uh, it kind of reminds you of from Red Dead Redemption 2 where you you made it to your camp, you set up your camp, and then you can head off to explore. It will kind of remind you of that. I can really imagine exploring the unknown, beautiful place, exploring the wildlife, you know? You, you, see these de you see these deers and the rhinos here? Which game has a deer and a rhino that runs in a pack but is an open world? I can't really think of, an, uh, of a game like that that has that. Um, maybe, be, maybe I could be terribly wrong that Halo Infinite is an open world. We'll see what happens. And the next uh, big thing they will show after the campaign, uh, they will show uh, is multiplayer. Uh, but they probably will show the multiplayer on a different day. Do you keep in mind that the Xbox event will last another few days? Uh, so we may get you know get to see the multiplayer uh, you know the next day probably. Uh, so we might get 10 minute gameplay of Halo Infinite doing a simple game of 4v4 Slayer or uh, you know, something like that. Uh, and maybe get to see Playboy Elites. Who you knows, it probably shows Playboy Elites or maybe even Playboy Brutes. <laughs> that will be amazing. Uh, you know, maybe it shows a new Forge system. A uh, man can dream, right? <laughs> Please 343, make that happen. So yeah, I'm guessing, you know, 343 will show new features for the multiplayer. Uh, but I'm just hoping they don't have things, you know, like armor abilities or spawn abilities returning in the multiplayer. Uh, I, am, I am however expecting Sprint to stay, I mean I just hope there is an option for it to, to not play with Sprint on. Uh, I did mention previously that you know about Halo Infinite may have an open world type of thing so you will, not need, you will need Sprint to Sprint in large areas. So right at the end of the Halo event they will announce the release date for Halo Infinite that is coming out this year and also confirms that the game will be dropping onto Steam. And then lastly, the three main confirm the Halo Infinite beta will start very soon. Okay guys, I think that's it for today's video. If you guys have any predictions, please, please let me know down in the comments below. I know this is a very short video I made. I just felt like making this video because Halo Infinite gameplay is literally, you know, going to be revealed, you know, around the corner. So hence why I felt like making this video. Um, anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please do hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. And be sure to follow us on Twitch. We're always going to be streaming Halo on there on Twitch. And I'll see you Spartans in the next video. Bye.